And we are back. Anyone notice, like, the newspaper said luminous figure behind bars? You can't really put a ghost in prison, shit. Great, right. we'll just slip through the bars. No, oh well, whatever. We have sweeping brooms. Look like Fantasia rejects cake, but it's of little importance because I'm at full health. Oh, here's a very interesting part of the game. I thought it was pretty interesting, anyway. See all these apes, and you see all these barrels, and I miss fall apart rabbit like the dumbass I am. And you wonder, who the hell is throwing all these barrels? Is it some big ape? Are they trying to pull a Donkey Kong joke? No! You see, it's a kangaroo. A kangaroo is throwing the barrels. Well, that's different! I know, that was pretty lame. But still. Oh yay, donuts for my full health. Damn seagulls with their coconuts. Oh yes. Okay. Just drop the fucking coconut, okay. Maybe I should try to tone the language down, might get some angry soccer mom saying, My son saw your bonkers playthrough, and I think that you should tone the language down so my little boy can be safe. And it is Disney, I mean, I could get sued or something. I'll try to mind the language, but no promises. I didn't get any threats from soccer moms, I was just spouting theoreticals. Oh sweet, more badges to increase my bomb count. <gasps> the bag dropped cake! I wasn't so enthusiastic saying that cake though. I guess it's because my health wasn't low enough. Oh, there's the Big Bat Wolf! You guys remember the Big Bat Wolf? Who was not a bad guy on that episode of Bonkers? He was framed by the pigs. I remember. I remember a lot of things about Bonkers. I was passionate. Because of Scott Taylor episodes rule. I don't know if they have Bonkers on DVD though. I don't recognize that mouse. At all. What Capcom platformer would be complete without something shrouded in ice? Annoying ass penguins. I don't memorize them from any kind of bonkers episode at all. Oh great, the most annoying item in the game. That's exactly what I need. You could bomb the fish too. That's how bonkers rolls, he's such an ass. <laughs> Damn, I jumped over the penguin, I was sure. Those penguins look like jerks. Uh. Uh. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be scratching their heads whenever I bring up voice actors and stuff, but, you know, that's the kind of person I am. I'm into voice actors and, you know, cartoons, animation. That's the type of person I, I would be. So, I know a lot of things might sound esoteric, but I know things that normal people shouldn't, but I'm not a normal person. I'm a rubber man. Okay, no, okay. Uh, let, let's uh, not be copyrighted here. Our boss is the louse. Ain't he a louse? Sometimes he makes phone calls and hangs up. We have to toss bombs at him. He might slap him back. And he has the powers of air, man. See? Uh. I was sure I jumped on his derby hat. I'm never clear of when to attack the louse, I just toss bombs at him. Maybe it's when he's chewing that I smack him. Nope. I got that completely wrong. 
I just noticed, like, two of the enemies that show up in this level were that appeared on Bonkers episodes were voiced by Brad Garrett, the Louse and the Big Bat Wolf. Brad Garrett appeared on a lot of Disney stuff. It was like on... It was on that Goofy movie, I think. Probably the second one that sucked. That was probably my first time dying from the louse. Okay, that was way above your head, dumbass. I am failing horribly. Just jump on his derby hat and avoid his air man thing. I don't remember the Laos being a bad guy, per se. He was just in some rehabilitation program. There's a lot of cool things about Bonkers, though, that I remember. Well, not a lot of cool things, but just a lot of things about Bonkers I remember. Okay. Yeah, I beat the level in eight minutes, but the Chief says, Wake him when the case is solved! Once again, the Chief, being him... Dick, uh... So we begin the third stage. And we see Goofy's cameo right here. Yeah, Goofy's little picture. <laughs> Watch out for these little rocky rodent looking bastards. They can't be hit by bombs. Shields on both sides. Gee, what do we do? Huh. It's like the Anthro Sniper Joe, except he throws wrenches above his head. So I guess the only thing it has in common with Sniper Joe is just a shield, I mean... Oh, don't touch those lights, you'll get electrocuted because they're broken. And cartoon characters and electricity don't mix. Okay. Sure. Okay, well, let's try again. There we go. You know, a lot of the creative consultants for Capcom's Disney licensed games actually did a really good job filling in some blanks. with their own original characters and generic enemies. Oh yay! Geek! But my health wasn't really in danger. I mean, I could have just grabbed a donut for the same amount. At the time. And we're treated with a 1-up. want to avoid those broken lights. Some balloons don't contain a damn thing, making you waste bombs. Oh god, it's that alien that appeared on that episode! He wasn't a bad guy at all, I don't think or remember. It had something to do with bonkers showing him to it. Oh crap. Now let's just keep going. He's like, take me to your leader or some kind of crap. And, and um, Lucky wasn't convinced he was an alien. He thought he was just a toon. And that's fairly easy to make that mistake. But there was only one of this guy, and I don't think he was a bad guy. I have to watch that episode again. I just remember, like, he, the bonkers, knew he was an alien, and he was trying to convince Lucky, and Lucky was like, no, bonkers, that's not an alien. Shut up. Because Lucky can be a real dick sometimes. We're in the western part. I mean, we're in the spaghetti western stage section. 
Roll a bomb, bonkers. Look, it's not Pete. I don't I don't think it's Pete. No, it doesn't look like Pete. But still his design looks inspired by him anyway. I don't know how to reach Fall Apart Rabbit. <laughs> I think those things are lions, though. 